All right, day eight. Um, I remember I showed you guys the pottery that we had started excavating yesterday. That was all sitting right here. And as you can see, it's all gone because we're in quest for our floor and there's still pottery underneath the pottery that we found. So uh, we don't know where our floor is quite yet, but we have a fascinating discovery. If you look here, you can see this kind of round shaped, almost looks like a goblet. You can see the neck coming this way. We thought this was a chalice when we first discovered it, and um, people were looking we at it, and the more, the more we uncovered of it, and everybody was like, oh, that looks more and more interesting, and then we discovered that uh, we just had a pottery expert come look at this, and this is a, a what they call a libation, libation. vessel. Mm -hmm. It's used to mix drinks generally in a holy context or in a cultic setting, as they say in the profession, and this is only the third one discovered in the whole world. So that is pretty cool. Now. <clears throat> There's a lot of theories thrown around here. I mean, everybody was excited, so we don't know exactly what's going on yet, but we have this wall here in our square that you can see. Um, and we were a little confused by it because it kind of sticks at a weird angle compared to all the rest of the walls are going straight this way and that kind of stuff. But uh, somebody advanced that maybe, since we've discovered this cultic vessel, this may possibly be part of a high place, which is supported by the fact that here, on the other side of this wall, see, now I know you can't tell really well in this video, but if you look here, this isn't actually a wall, this is a wall and then a bench that um, my hand is on here. This is a bench that runs, and so benches are usually found in the context of cultic or holy settings, places where, I don't know, they would do ceremonies and that kind of stuff. So we may be in an area that we'll find some interesting uh, religious iconic artifacts, uh, artifacts. I know that our uh, professor who's an expert in seals was telling us to look really closely for them because if we find them in context of the religious center um, that they will provide some light onto what kind of religion was uh, venerated here and that kind of stuff. So really fascinating morning. Uh, it got really exciting really quick and hopefully it'll get even more exciting.